Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Snowfall accumulation for you in some areas. Mountain Lake one and a half. Blacksburg one and a half inches of snow. Rocky Mount Bedford around an inch. Rustburg just under one inch. As we uh, look at other locations, Fincastle anywhere between an inch and a half and two inches, Baywood inch and a half, Allegheny County, a couple of reports say from Covington, Hollins right around an inch, Goodview around an inch, and in Roanoke only about a quarter of an inch of snow, a little bit higher total say towards Catawba, Bradshaw, and Bent Mountain. And you'll notice that Lynchburg South Side is dry, few snow showers, pretty light in nature towards say Bath and also in Allegheny counties. Still have a, a batch of some heavier snow uh, in and around Simmonsville, which has picked up close to two inches of snow. Uh, south into Virginia Tech, right along that 460 corridor. Right now in Christiansburg, it's actually raining a little bit, while at Virginia Tech, it's snowing a little bit. So a little bit of a mixed bag going on in Montgomery County as this is all moving east at 30. So for tonight, the trend will be for this activity to wind down by 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And then by Friday at 730 in the morning, we're going to awaken to some leftover clouds. But as we head, say, towards lunchtime, clouds are going to break. And then in the afternoon, we're all going to see a lot more in the way of sunshine. Short lived as clouds build back in as we head into Friday night. Saturday, 730 in the morning, I think we're dry, but after about 9, 10 o'clock, we're going to start to see a little bit in the way of some light precipitation moving in. To the south, it's rain. Perhaps north of Highway 460 and perhaps west of the Blue Ridge Parkway could be in the form of a light mix for a little while, say mid to late morning on Saturday into perhaps the early to mid afternoon hours before we start to see it just change over to just plain rain, with the exception of the highlands, which could stay in a mix of freezing rain and sleet for a little while longer. To give you a little bit of perspective, our next storm system that is coming this weekend is out in California right now. And in a span of about two to three days, it could bring anywhere from 60 to 100 inches of snow towards the Sierra Nevadas. Now, the last five years in Roanoke, we've gotten 81.3 inches of snow. On an annual basis, Roanoke's average is 18 and a half inches of snow. So the Sierra Nevadas right now, say near Lake Tahoe, just being dumped on with snow. And that storm system is heading towards us Saturday into Sunday. Looks like it's going to be mainly rain, maybe a mix for us here as we head into Saturday and also into Sunday. As far as snow is concerned, I don't think we see a lot of it because I think the cold air is not going to quite get in in time to meet up with the precipitation, but still a mix possible for us for at least part of the day on Saturday. Heavy rain there, we're going to put that on the moderate to high side. Wintry precipitation, low to moderate. Gusty winds, we're going to put that on the high end. I do think we're going to pick up on some very strong winds here on Sunday. Flash freeze, we're going to put that on the moderate end. There is that chance for a flash freeze here as we head into Sunday. Simply put, the earlier the precipitation gets out on Sunday, the lesser chances we're going to have of that flash freeze. 32 in Blacksburg, 33 in Lynchburg, also Martinsville, 32 Hillsville and Galax. Now, once we get behind this weekend storm system, we're going to get a blast of cold, cold air. The Polar Express is coming into play for us. Actually, a little piece of the polar vortex is going to move farther down to the south, and that means for us temperatures by Monday, we're looking at highs in the 20s. And oh, by the way, we're going to start Monday morning with wind chills some 15 below zero out across parts of the Highlands, New River Valley could still feel below zero out across parts of the Roanoke Valley into areas say near Martinsville. Zero to five is what it could potentially feel like out across Southside and Lynchburg come again Monday morning. It is going to be so cold out there Sunday night into Monday. That's why tomorrow enjoy that 51 degree high 40 on Saturday with rain developing again a mix certainly possible a little sleet and freezing rain will likely mix in especially the farther north you go Sunday temperatures start in the 40s dropping into the 20s during the afternoon MLK day mostly sunny 29 it's Tuesday 40 partly sunny then we'll have the chance for some rain developing Wednesday could transform itself into a little bit of snow into the mountains Wednesday night into the day on Thursday.